Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Friday, May 3rd. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will start off with a few scattered storms around tomorrow. Where they form, they could be strong, but it won't rain all day. Then pretty quiet for Sunday and Monday, and the weather stays fairly warm for early May. Let's talk about things. This is the upper air look this afternoon based on the soundings this morning. Got a trough passing well to the north of the state. There's the visible satellite view. The sky partially sunny for much of Alabama. Some thicker clouds over some of the northwestern counties, but for most places, a partly sunny warm day. That was a radar at 237. Really not much out there. Again, a few patches of light rain over northwest Alabama, and that's about it. We're back in the 80s today, mid-80s in most spots, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery at 87. A bit cooler back in the northwest counties because of the clouds there. And a cold front is just north of the state. Uh, we've got 50s and 60s north of that front, 80s south of the front. And as that slowly approaches, we'll see an uptick in the number of scattered storms tomorrow. But again, the key word is scattered. There's the watch warning map. We note a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of southwest Texas, a tornado watch for parts of northeast Arkansas, and flash flood watches again from Dallas-Fort Worth to uh, south of Chicago. There's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Much of Texas and some type of risk, also a marginal risk for West Virginia and some of the adjacent states. Tomorrow, parts of the east and south with some chance of severe storms. And again, for Alabama, much of the state in that yellow. That's level two, the slight risk. And we'll talk about the setup here in a moment. And on day three, which is Sunday, got a marginal risk for the southeastern tip of the state down around Dothan. And off the uh, South Atlantic coast, also a marginal risk for the western high plains. Rain for the next seven days, bigger numbers off to the west. Heaviest rain for our state up around the shoals. They might see over three inches of rain over the next seven days. Rain amounts will likely be under one inch for the southeastern counties of the state. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. You can see the short wave approaching from the west, and that should bring an increase in scattered storms. So let's look at high-res modeling. Now the NAM suggesting we could see a batch of morning showers and storms over the northern third of the state. This is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And let me just say this. The mesoscale models have not been performing well this season. The radar might not look like that. But if this happens to be correct, we'd have some morning storms. Those would not be severe. The southern two-thirds of the state would be dry. 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, much of the state dry. Heavier storms over central and south Mississippi. And then tomorrow night at 11, a batch of heavier storms coming through parts of central and south Alabama. And again, it probably won't exactly evolve like this, but the key points for tomorrow, uh, it's not going to rain all day. Much of the day should be dry, but it will rain at times. Where storms do form, they could be strong. The main threat would be from strong gusty winds and small hail. The wind direction is very much unidirectional. We don't see any tornado set up here. And uh, again, you know, when it rains, it could rain pretty heavily and see some strong winds. But a pretty good chunk of the day, I think, for most places will be dry. Highs tomorrow, I'd say 77 to 80. We'll keep it on the high res NAM for Sunday. And you see we go dry. Uh, the sky becoming partly sunny. The high will be probably in the upper 70s on Sunday. Let's go to Monday of next week. We're warm and dry, mid-80s. Tuesday, rain to the west. That might creep in here late in the day, but most of Tuesday looking dry. And then Wednesday, we'll have a chance of showers and storms for about the northern half of the state, low 80s. Thursday, the ridge kind of rebuilds, suggesting the better chance of showers north of here. And a week from today, got a ridge in the Gulf kind of nosing up into the southern part of the state. Got an upper low out around Los Angeles. And again, that suggests a better chance of showers at the end of next week for the northern quarter of the state. And we stay warm. Let's go out 10 days, Monday, May 13th. Upper low in the southwest, a zonal flow here. And that suggests maybe a few showers about. Here are the numbers. And again, the, the GFS ensemble suggesting we might stay in the upper 70s this weekend. Other than that, on most days, on through the 19th of May, highs mostly in the 80s and lows mostly in the 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here by 7 o'clock Monday morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.
Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.